Yo. I want to talk about the psychological aspects of being stalked. Like last night, today's Father's Day, Happy Father's Day to all you TIs. Um, last night I was stalked heavy, bro. They're mad about my videos and they're trying to shut my phone down. They're trying to grab my phone and they're trying to stop this gang stalking 2020, but you can't fucking stop it, man. It's, it's bigger than Freddy Fuego. I'm picking up new subscribers every day. Thank you so much. I want this video is for you guys. Listen, before, you know when you're getting stalked and your phone is, you, you can't plug it in. Everywhere you plug it in, these motherfuckers are so gifted. I mean, it's got to be the government involved in this shit, man. But you can't talk about it no more. You can't tell people no more. Hey, uh, don't plug your phone in there. It's going to mess up. You can't tell people they're following me. You have to use the reverse psychology of being stalked. Like, they put an ugly ass toy. Look at TIs know what I'm talking about. If you're not fucking um, being stalked, you're not, you're not gonna understand this, but if you love somebody being stalked, you wanna hear this video. And you wanna tell them to, hear, watch this video, you stop reacting to them. Stop reacting to their fucking tricks, right? They put this ugly ass doll down. You know, it's supposed to probably spook. I don't know. At first it did, cause it looks like a fucking hand puppet or whatever the hell. So, um, there was a kid there. So I, I said, man, look at that, that's not, and I gave it away. <laughs> I didn't let it spook me. I, uh, instead of saying, oh shit, they're here. Nah, man, I gave the fucking toy away. I said, no, those are nice. There's people collecting that. And the little girl took it. You have to stop reacting to it. You have to use the reverse psychology in order to maintain your friends. If not, you're pushing everybody away. Nobody's gonna understand what you're going through and you the way you react is going to dictate how other people react towards you it's fucked up because I'm like staying in different places people we don't know people are, I just know on Facebook or whatever the hell because looking for a little relief and um they're there, bro. They follow us everywhere. It's a goddamn shame that you got minorities oppressing minorities in this um gang stalking shit. This is why I can't support Black Lives Matters no more. I don't give a fuck. I got Black Lives chasing me all fucking day. Fuck that. No matter if you black, if you're in my fucking way, I'm going to run your fucking ass over. White, black, Chinese, I don't give a fuck. So, you're not going to hear me talk about Black Lives Matter. Well, I got black lives haunting my ass. In my chimney. In my goddamn fucking basement. And you know, there ain't nobody in a wall. Because I framed... I A plus construction in North Carolina was mine for 20 years. We did, I did great. We did great because I didn't do that by myself. But stop telling people there's somebody in the wall. Look at the fucking wall. A head don't fit in there. But somehow they managed to put something in there to make it seem. Look at that's a distraction. And look, and you know, it's too perfect. Like it. Something be in the wall, right? It'll be a wave on this wall. For people that don't understand what a TI is talking, a target individual is trying to tell you. They're, in, they're, they're trying to get to 
the receptacle so that they could do something where you could I could plug my phone but my phone uh, it won't charge yet I could plug the TV in there and the electricity still work that shit to me is baffling now you gonna tell that if it baffles you and you gonna tell somebody that this is happening to you the minute you walk away you're a fucking nut so I ain't telling people about it no more and I got the same people stalking me as before and they keep coming back saying I'm sorry you know I didn't mean to do that and they'll set you up over and over and over <laughs> but now it's a game it's, just, it's a game of wits you understand you don't suck at me bitch nah it's part of the game and uh you, as a T.I., stop reacting to what's happening, especially when it's happening in that moment. You're going to have to find a way to laugh that shit off, even though you know it's fucking pain in the ass. I can't charge my phone. I'm making this video. I got some, I recorded some shit last night, but I don't have any battery to start editing and, and dropping it. I have tons of stuff I, to show this channel, but it's just so difficult, bro. The stress of not even being able to charge your phone is consuming. You want to go somewhere where they can charge your phone? Where you can charge? Your phone. Yeah, like yesterday they followed me, and it was 90 degrees, so they were in the attic of a guy's house, and this guy's poor. And I knew they were coming there. And I knew that if they got in that attic, their ass is going to be suffering. Their ass is going to torture. I was going to torture them. I left those motherfuckers up there at 90 degrees for hours. I knew they wanted to fucking leave. And nah, uh, as long as I was there, I made them stay there. Well, I knew they were uncomfortable. Well, I knew there was no AC. Well, I knew, motherfucker, you're going to pay for following me. You can't be where I'm at. You got to be close. So you're going to the attic. The attic has got to be a hundred and something degrees. I hope they're having a fucked up Father's Day today. You got to learn this game. Put, put, them, put yourself in a place where it's going to hurt them more than it's going to hurt you to stalk you. You understand that? As a T.I., you ain't going to be comfortable anymore. You got fucked that. You know, it's war. Change your mentality. Stop trying to have fun. You don't have fun fucking war. In a war. It, it ain't fun no more. My life without my daughter ain't, ain't happy anyway. But I make the best of it. Um... And when I leave here, I'm not going there. I'm going there for a visit, but I'm only going there so see that when they follow me there, I'll be prepared to go again. The road's going to be on, I'm going to be on the road. I'm, uh, listen, end this video. You understand what I'm telling you? The psychological battle. You know they're going to follow you, right? Make them follow you in a place where they'll put themselves in a, in a worse situation than you. I'm not the victim type, and you don't need to be either. This video, I have my battery. It's about the phone, okay? It's for, yo, okay, yes, this right here, look. They ain't made, all right, your charger, right? Your charger detects where the fuck you at. This charger is telling them where I plug my phone. Right now it's pulsating, this son of a bitch. And yours is too, if you're a TI. You open it, it's only supposed to be a couple few, a simple couple wires. Now this, 
I opened it. You checked the last video. I opened it. You seen all that stuff inside the charger. So now when you're in the house, they know exactly which plug to go, which outlet to fuck with. You know what I mean? Because they have put stuff in there. So when you're in a new house, how do they know which where you're charging your phone? It's because this these are. Now everywhere I go, I'll switch this. I'll trade this. Yeah. When you go to your friend's house, oops, I took the wrong fucking charger. I ain't beating them. They're getting the same thing. You know, they ain't getting it. They won't never know the difference. I throw the stalkers off. So, anyway, learn the psychology, reverse it. Make it more difficult for them to hurt you. Um, stop trying to have fun. Just try to find peace. <laughs> it's war. It's a psychological war. And you're trying to fight it with your hands. You're trying to kill somebody. You're trying to... If you're a guy like me, you don't like being fucked with. You want to fight. And I think that's everybody. But if you're scared, stop being scared. You know what happens to, to soldiers in Vietnam when they're scared? When Iraq, they die. So, show them that you're not one to be fucked with, okay? They took my motorcycle. They took my motorcycle because, I could, you know you can't fucking follow me on a motorcycle. A motorcycle is freedom. They stole it. Uh, all right, I'm in this, man. It's fucking amazing. Today's Father's Day. Nadine Rivera, baby. Miss you. You guys have a good Father's Day. Subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, okay? And learn, man. If they're going to follow you, try to put them in the most awkward positions. And watch out if you go to a party where a lot of people are there. They can easily ask someone or offer someone drugs to fuck with you and tell them. They're just, it's just a practical joke. And it doesn't seem like they're going to hurt you because um, it's not physical. But they're killing you. You must learn to fight on their terms. I got people from every window in this neighborhood peeping out and shit. Like behind me. I don't want to start doing all that because but every window, the screens are cracking. All right, bye.